James Webb Space Telescope shocks the entire space industry. Liftoff. From a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. That was the sound from the launch site of the James Webb Telescope in French Guyana, South America on the 25th of December, 2021. It was the beginning of what might change everything we know about our universe, as the breathtaking images reveal what has been hidden for years. This provides more details to the inquiry into how the universe came to be, which up until now in the science world is attributed to the Big Bang Theory. Welcome back to Declassified Theories. If you're new here, do subscribe to our channel as we take you through the journey of bringing mysteries to your feet. Let's get it on. The James Webb Telescope, the largest telescope ever launched, was made with the hopes of probing the origin of things. And from one of the photos from the very early deep dive of the telescope, some mind-blowing images that caught everyone who saw it in awe reveal several galaxies that had remained undiscovered for years. Due to distance, these galaxies dot the skies and appear just to be stars. But zooming into these images, thousands of galaxies of which some share resemblance of their own, the Milky Way, are brought to life. This opens up the possibility of intelligent life forms that might be thriving elsewhere in the universe. The telescope opens up human perception to the sheer vastness of the universe. And to many astronomers, this points to how significant the Earth is within the universe. The telescope has provided a clearer image of the GN Z11, which is the most distant galaxy from Earth that has been discovered. The GN Z11 is estimated to be more than 40 billion light years away from Earth. The data from this mission is what makes Matt Mountain describe astrology as a humbling discipline. This is mostly attributed to the very little information we have in comparison to the details that spread all over the universe. From an interview granted by Matt Mountain, one of the leading researchers on the program, he was filled with awe at what the Webb's telescope is capable of. He points out that what we might ordinarily mistake as stars in the night skies aren't just stars, but also galaxies. And the space, contrary to prior popular opinion, is not just an endless stretch of nothingness. In his words, there is no empty sky with James Webb. The recent findings from this telescope have instilled doubt in many scientists. I mean, if everything we thought we knew about the universe is falling into shambles at this early stage of the images from the telescope, what can we actually be sure of? And Matt Mountain's statement during his interview seems to have answered the question. He points out that 95% of the universe is made up of dark matter, a term he points out to be a reference to something that cannot be understood. As far as we know, this discovery questions all we know about how the universe came to be. And yes, we are talking about even the Big Bang Theory. The telescope has revealed some galaxies that seem to have existed before the known time frame of the universe. And since nothing could have existed before the Big Bang, it seems that we are back to looking for new theories on how the universe came to be. But in defense, some scientists have taken support with the enormous size of the universe. Some have started to suggest that maybe the Big Bang was just the beginning of the observable part that we know of and not the beginning of the universe itself. This observable part of the universe has an area of more than 46 billion light years from Earth. But whatever the actual origin of the universe is, it is something that remains to be discovered for certain, according to this data from James Webb's telescope. For years, many scientists, astronomers, and physicists had defended the Big Bang Theory as one that explains how everything came to be. This supports that the universe is always in a continuous expansion right from its inception billions of years ago. However, recent discoveries show that some of the discovered galaxies were small and incredibly old. This shakes the hypothesis of Big Bang Theory and leaves us wondering, if this is wrong, then what can we actually hold as right with regard to the understanding of the universe? 
This is because if these newly found galaxies are so old yet so small, it automatically eliminates the possibility of the Big Bang Theory. This singular finding goes as far as contradicting whatever we think we know about the concept of time in the universe. The idea of time is that it changes everything. But with this recent exploration, it seems that the universe has remained largely unchanged for billions and billions of years. This goes to support Albert Einstein's postulation of time as a human construct. He says, People like us who believe in physics know that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. For as long as we can remember, time has been used to measure the duration of events. It serves as a linear progression of events that seem to cut across the past, present, and future. The prior idea regarding the development of the universe was that, with time, smaller galaxies collided and formed bigger galaxies. These were some of the things that the scientists expected to see signs of with James Webb. But it seems that all these prior assumptions are due for total re-evaluation. The James Webb telescope makes use of infrared technology to analyze some heat signals that are just the only thing that we get from light signals that travel billions of light years towards Earth. The James Webb telescope, otherwise called the JWST in short, gives insight into the early universe by analyzing the light that has been traveling for so long that the universe has stretched its wavelength. Scientists have coined the name redshift for this event. Different forces act on the light as it embarks on its long journey, and the redshift serves as the means to analyze them. This means that redshift can be used as a measure of distance and that early galaxies should have light displaying extreme redshifts, with their light stretched all the way into the infrared range. Without this technology, it will be impossible for humans to look into these pieces of evidence as the human eye cannot see these infrared signals. The data which shows some of the earliest galaxies to inhabit the universe shows that some of the galaxies started existing when the universe was still about 350 million years old. For decades, humans have been exploring space in search of planets that could support life forms. And as far as this has not been so successful, there have been discoveries of some amazing planets that appear difficult to analyze with previous technologies. But thanks to the James Webb Telescope, the research theme from John Hopkins University of Applied Physics, led by Kevin Stevenson, Jacob Lustig Jaeger, have been able to confirm an exoplanet that orbits another star, which is known as the LHS 475b. Though most details, such as verifying if the planet has an atmosphere, are still pending, it has been confirmed to be a rocky planet. In coming times, and with further analysis, more information is expected on this discovery. The discovery of previously elusive galaxies such as the Abel 2744Y1, which is thought to be nearly as old as the universe itself, has left astrologers marveling at these discoveries. This galaxy's rate of star production has been pointed out to be about 10 times greater than that of the Milky Way. Why this is surprising, because the galaxy is measured to be about 50 times smaller than ours. One thing about space exploration is that the process proves a lot more tedious than we often imagine. But with little discoveries that emerge, scientists are likely to be kept engaged for a long time and are usually able to learn a lot by analyzing even the light reaching us from these galaxies. Given the dust that these findings are raising in the scientific world, some are calling for caution. They propose that conclusions should not be drawn until the images are properly analyzed and further investigations carried out. This seems reasonable given that the finding has, if it continues to go in the current direction, created a huge hole in the world of science. And if that's the case, it might require the creation of new approaches that will largely be different from the conventional approaches for better understanding. Now, given that we have been through different understandings of the world around us over the years, trying to look at the universe from a different lens now will not be out of place. When we think back, we remember that there was a time when we thought the Earth to be the center of the solar system, with the sun revolving around it. 
This theory held up until people like Nicholas Copernicus challenged the understanding while facing numerous oppositions. The later invention of better telescopes helped prove his stand. Right from time, humans had loved to think of themselves as an important part of the universe. The limited access to outer space in earlier times had helped this understanding. Consequently, recent discoveries might seem a bit too difficult to swallow, finding out that we are nothing but a speck of dust when we consider everything in the universe. A better open-minded approach to the study of the universe is likely to reveal a lot more mind-blowing things that will shake more of our beliefs. What's been the most mind-boggling thing that you've learned from this exploration? Do let us know in the comments below, and like and subscribe for more thrilling discoveries.